Hey, good morning. Chuck here at Apple Drains. Today we're installing a gravel perforated system uh, with some catch basins because you can see this hill behind me and this water has washed down this hill and it just floods across these yards. They've got a retaining wall and that helps stop some of the water. But you can see the erosion that's taking place over here. It's really bad. Downspout drains from the yards above actually come out in different sections here. And they've tried to slow the water down with some riprap, but wow, I've seen this when it floods and it really goes bad. So we're gonna start there at the end of his yard, back there where that area is really eroded. Gravel perforated pipe, pull up this riprap. They've got a real nice, uh, 18 by 18 storm drain we're going to tie it right into there so the first thing that we've got to do is we've got to pull some, back some of this straw and then we're going to move some of that riprap that stone so that we can dig right through there you know this really is a great project for the do-it-yourself homeowner i've got one guy out here with me this took us about an hour maybe a little bit more but by yourself you could easily do this in a couple of hours no special tools required. Basically, you need a shovel, a rake, and a little bit of labor. And you can do this job. This is something that will save you thousands of dollars. Materials, I've listed them on here. You need perforated pipe, gravel, and catch basins. And that's really about it. Dig a trench about a shovel wide and a shovel and a half deep. Add your gravel, perforated pipe, catch basins, and you've completed this project. The good thing about this one is that there is a place for it to discharge, and you do need that. So you can see, make pretty quick work. Two guys dig a little trench, straighten it up a little bit there, but put gravel base down, perforated pipe, more gravel. One, two, three. One more catch basin down here, turn, and go right into that basin. Okay, so you can see our six inch line comes out from around behind the retaining wall. We've got it all installed, catch basins, rip wrap, we're gonna put back, moving some more soil. Now we're getting ready to lay some gravel down through the trench. But if you see the hill, far, far back, that water comes down from the top of that hill, hits this wall, and has just run down through here and eroded this so bad. Got to do something. And the water does come here to this stone, but in a big storm, it just comes and floods, you know, all the way down through people's properties. So, really not a hard job, it's just hot out here. We're really just about ready to lay gravel. Looks like we might have enough soil up here to finish that up and grade it out. And then it's just gravel all the way down our trench and we're done. So we've got our rip wrap put back. See our six inch coming out alongside that four inch. Comes all the way up. Using the rip wrap as a stop because that water comes down this hill from way up there. Hopefully we'll hit our rocks, drop into the basins. But remember, this is all gonna be gravel. So we basically have a giant drain that runs the length of the back of the property. So we've got, we've got our system installed. The area here is pretty eroded. They're gonna need some extra soil. But we went ahead and started throwing our straw back on top. Remember that you can put your mulch back on top of a gravel drain we brought this to grade because there's no way an underground drain is going to work here, an underground French drain. And riprap slows down that flow of water. Again, you can see it comes from way back there on the hill. Comes down, should all drop into the system. Perforated pipe, finished covering, comes out and discharges to the storm drain.
up with Apple Grains, reminding you that if you believe you can do something, I guarantee you can do it. Have a great day.